What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and today I am actually on vacation right now but I did want to film a video for you guys to keep the content uh, you know rolling uh, so I'm actually filming this in the hotel right now sorry for the bad lighting and I'm actually filming this on my iPhone so uh, hopefully you, know, you guys like the quality um, it's not the best it's not from my you know main camera but this is a quick video on some stuff I brought with me on vacation um, and these are just super super small uh, EDC items probably my top five favorite EDC items uh, that are really, really small. And I've heard it called micro EDC, uh, but these are just really small items that you can just throw into your, you know, in, into your EDC itself or into your EDC, uh, you know, bag, pack, um, EDC kit, really anything. And they're so small, you don't even notice that they're there. And I use all these all the time, almost every single day. So let's get into it. So you guys may notice this thing. This is the Night Ties Locking Espiner. Now I don't like the locking part of these so I actually took the locking piece out uh, but it does come with that little thing that locks them in place. Um, I use these a ton and they are super super good for uh, situations where you need to attach something to something. So for example something that I do all the time is uh, you know I have my main keys right here. I have my car key, my house key, my PO box key, and my work key. Those all sit on here but adding my key fob to it just makes it too big and it makes it to where the keys can't slide properly and you know this key is almost too big adding this on there just makes it a big old jumbled mess um, I don't always have my fob on me so uh, what I do is I put the fob on the um, S beaner and then I clip the S beaner to uh, let's see to my car keys just like this so now it's not you know you know, it's not preventing the keys from sliding properly on the smaller key ring. And, uh, you know, because I don't drive my car every day, but I do, I, you know, I do need my keys every day for the PL box and for work. So if I'm not driving my car that day, I just unclip this, put this on my, you know, hook in the house, and I take this. So this is just a phenomenal product. It works really well. And the reason I don't have the locking piece on it is just because I don't need it. I don't use it because I'm constantly taking it on and off and I have really big fingers and getting in there and, you know, uh, you know, manipulating that is really hard. So, um, yeah, like I said, the Night Ties S Beaner is a fantastic, fantastic product. Um, you can get them in packs and uh, they, they range in all different types of sizes. So these things are really cool, but I really like this small size for small items like keys and stuff like that. So I would definitely add this to your EDC. So another product from Night Ties, this is the Night Ties Doohickey, and uh, they do make another version of this. It's called like the Doohickey Plus, I think. Um, but this is just a really cool product. Um, you can also attach this to like, you know, key fobs and stuff and car fobs, um, just, you know, in case you wanted to know. Uh, but this is just a really cool little thing to just have in your, you know, on your key ring um, or just in your pocket. You know, you can just clip this onto literally anything because it's a little tiny carabiner. So you got two inches here on the top. You also have some different, um, you know, hex keys. You got quarter inch, five sixteenths, and three eighths. So if you ever needed to, you know, loosen a bolt that was that size, this would work perfectly. I have had to do it one time. So uh, I can attribute to it actually working as a little tiny wrench, but it's not obviously the best thing. But it did work in a pinch, and it did came, and it did come in very handy. Uh, you got a bottle opener. You got a little flathead screwdriver, or not little. It's a big flathead screwdriver and a little pry bar. So this is just a really, really cool little item. It's so small, it's super lightweight, and then it also comes in two different colors. So you have the, um, you know, the black and the, uh, like, satin finish there, I guess, or the uh, non-coated version. So, yeah, they're super cool, they're super lightweight, and they're really cheap. Uh, these are great little stocking stuffers, um, and, you know, this coming season, throw this in one year. Um, well, you know, the funny part is, is I actually got this one from my sister, uh, last Christmas and I used the heck out of it as you can see it's it's you know it's shown some use um, so these things are definitely well loved so definitely pick up a little night ties doohickey they're really cool little products so this is probably my favorite EDC flashlight uh, this is called the uh, Nebo Micro and it is a super super cool little tiny flashlight and it is freaking bright like it is one of the brightest uh, flashlights for its size definitely it's brighter than some of my like full size flashlights, like, like my mag lights and stuff like that. It it, it I'm it is seriously brighter than my mag light flashlights. And I know that mag lights have a reputation for being super durable and stuff like that. But this thing has been in my pocket forever, and uh, it is it's gotten beat up, dropped. It's been on my key ring for a little bit, so it's been thrown. Um, and it's I mean it's it's survived, so it's really really cool. 
So you basically have two buttons on here. You have the N button, which stands for Nebo. You click that and you get the light at full brightness. And then you can click here and go through the different modes. Um, so the end button, um, you press it, I mean, th this thing, I haven't charged this thing yet, so it's probably going to be a little bit dim, but it's way brighter than that in person. Um, but it is super bright for its size, but it does need to be charged. Um, and then you click here and you can go through all of the settings. Click here on the power button, you have your high, medium, and low. You have a little tiny green light and a little tiny red light. So, I mean, they're really, really tiny and not that bright. I don't really know what they'd be used for, um, maybe for signaling something, just, you know, doing this in the dark if you're lost or trying to flag something down. Uh, but honestly, I feel like this would be way easier to spot, just clicking the end button at full brightness. Um, but yeah, you have a little green and red button there. You have your button or you have your light there. And this is to charge it. It charges via micro USB. Kind of sucks, but whatever. I mean, I have a sh ton of them lying around. Um, it's, you know, a little aluminum body with steel on the sides. It's just a really cool little flashlight and it's really durable. So, um, I would definitely pick one of these up, throw it in your pack, throw it on your keychain, and, um, you'll always have a little light with you. So it's really, really bright. I don't know the exact, uh, lumens of each one. I haven't memorized it, uh, but I'll have it linked below so you can go check it out. So fourth item I have on my list here is the Leatherman Squirt PS4. You guys have probably heard a ton about the Leatherman Squirt, so I won't go too much into it. But I just wanted to reiterate how much I love this little tool. Uh, this goes in my EDC kit, and it's just phenomenal due to the pliers. Um, a lot of people don't understand how much pliers come in handy. You know, you don't know you need them until you need them, and they've come in handy a lot, uh, especially with my girlfriend's jewelry. Uh, jewelry breaks all the time, you know, little anklets and bracelets, and I can simply just pinch the metal or, uh, you know, pull it apart. It's super easy. Uh, I've cut uh, a bunch of, uh, like, zip ties with the wire cutter here. Um, I pried stuff up. It's very, very handy to have a little tiny set of pliers. You know, there's a knife on it, a bunch of other tools. I'm not going to go too much into it just for time's sake, and you guys have probably seen a ton on this tool. It's just really, really cool. I love the uh, kind of aluminum scales, and I love how it kind of looks worn in. This thing has seen some use as well. Um, I love this little thing, Leatherman Squirt PS4. So the final item I want to talk to you guys about is um, my most recent addition to my EDC. This is the Kershaw Launch 4, and it uh, has been in my pocket for over a month now as my primary EDC knife, and I have no desire to go back to any other knives, really. Um, this thing is just awesome. Um, I don't really work in a place where I, have to, you know, where I have to have a big knife. I work in a warehouse, and I have dedicated uh, you know, utility knives for opening packages and big boxes and stuff like that. This thing just comes in handy for doing just small ADC tasks, cutting threads, opening mail, opening small packages and stuff like that. This thing can actually handle itself pretty good though. Um, I love the blade shape. I thought it was going to be really small for my hands, but it actually fits really well. And this is a great little cutter. I mean, I'm super impressed by it. It feels really good in the hand. Everything's curved and the ergonomics are really good. Uh, you have uh, CPM 154 steel, so it's a great, fantastic steel. It stays sharp forever. I've only sharpened this thing once, and it can still cut through paper like nobody's business. Let me grab a slice of paper real quick. And I'll kind of show you guys here. And I'm, I'm, I've, I've sharpened this thing one time, and I've cut so many boxes, so many packages open with this thing, and uh, it just keeps going. Um, I love the fidget factor. It's a great little fidget uh, knife. Uh, it flings out dependably every single time. I love the pocket clip on it. It's made in the USA. And this thing is just awesome. And it's super tiny. I mean, to compare it to the size of the doohickey, I mean, it is a tiny freaking knife. Here's it next to the S Beaner. Here's it next to the Squirt PS4. So I mean, it, it's tiny. And I mean, I absolutely love this knife. Um, I have a ton of pocket knives and I've just been loving this thing. So I'm going to keep using it until I get sick of it. But um, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I mean, my favorite orientation to hold this in is just like this. I take it out of my pocket. I flick it open. I grab it like this and I open packages. And it's just a badass little little knife. So um, it's a really cool little automatic. And I do live in California. So I went with the California legal one. This is under two inches. Um, so but Kershaw launches, you can get bigger ones if you live in a state that doesn't make stuff not fun so <laughs> thanks california but anyway um yeah pocket clip's good everything's good on it this knife is solid i love it so that is gonna do it um hopefully you guys like my little impromptu video here um sorry if the quality was not up to par with what i usually post but i hope uh, you guys like it nonetheless but 
Uh, that's going to be it. Everything will be linked below if I can find it um, for your guys' convenience. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay humble. Peace.